So Anna, do you know what the biosphere is? It's this very interesting building behind us, but I don't know much more than that. What's up everybody, I'm Rick. And this is Anna. And today we're going to the biosphere. Yeah? Can you tell me what this biosphere thing is? You know what? I don't actually know 100% myself. I can tell you what I know. Um, the building was the US pavilion during the 1967 World Fair, which happened in Montreal. And right now, it's used as an environment museum. Now, I'm not really sure what an environment museum is, but I guess we'll figure it out. Let's go find out. Like how did they film this so that they could project it 360 degrees on like a, a circular screen all around us? It's just it's amazing. Look at this snowfall around the world. The average. Montreal is right here. Montreal is second, ahead of uh, Juneau, Alaska, Moscow, Russia. I guess the others you'd expect. Yeah, Toronto. There goes Japan. 20 centimeters. We get way too much snow. I don't need all that snow. If you turn your camera on this side though, since that snow is good for the environment. Not my environment. Look at this, Anna. The city of tomorrow. Today. You know, I could live in a city that they're describing in these videos and projections and maps. Yeah. What do you think of the museum so far? It's very educational. I feel really like the theme, from what we've seen so far, the theme seems to be just educating the public about the environment, mm. which is, you know, it's a good thing, you know? So you think you understand what the hell this place is? I'm, I'm beginning to get it. We'll have to see what goes on in the rest of the place, though. So let's visit it. You got an outfit? Yeah, I got the right, I got the right dress. What's the best jacket for Montreal winters? The yellow one, of course. Because yellow uh, detracts from the cold. It is known. Red attracts the cold. What's this one? What's the question here? What do you choose as your signature upcycle accessory with the tag to make the signature? So like a, a necklace, bag, neck, neck. From old neckties, scarves made from used flannel pants, cufflinks made from broken watches. I'll choose this. Many Montrealers appreciate the warmth of flannel during the winter months. It's the scarf. And now this 
some material, often made of wood and cotton, can be reworn as worn powerful sparks. Yes, that's the right answer, I think. See? You've got a knife of fashion. I got a knife of fashion. Can I do it? So now you want to try one of these questions? Yes, uh, let's try this one about you. Do. What does it say? Onion skin very thin, mild winters coming in. Onion skin thick and tough, coming winter cold and rough. I don't even know what that's supposed so to mean. if the onion skin is thin, then the winter will be mild. And if the onion skin is thick, then the winter will be cold. So what do you think? True or false? It sounds stupid. <laughs> I think it's false. Let's check it out. Fruits and vegetables can't predict the weather. They can't? But they do adapt remarkably well. So, an onion with several layers simply means it has spent a good summer in my soil with lots of heat and sunshine. So yeah, it's gonna do with the winter. So Anna, when we started the day, you asked me what this place was. Do you think you have your answer now? It's an environmental museum. <laughs> and what does that mean? So, um, uh, the exposition is mainly focused on educating the public or explaining to the public what the environment is and a lot about how to protect it and how not to destroy it. There was an interesting section about the city of the future, I think. Yeah. When they were talking about how you could build or how they could build in the future like ecological buildings. And With trees inside of them. And yes, uh, and how to um, collect water, rainwater in order to like, water the plants inside the building. Yeah. Yeah, that was very interesting. Mm. So you liked it? Oh, I definitely did. Yeah, it was uh, interesting. I never came here. I passed in front of it a lot of times. Yeah. Never even wondered what was inside. Uh, it's also the first time I've been to a museum like this, which really seems to be mm. very interactive, very... It's the only one in North America, I think, an uh, environment museum. Okay, I did not know that. Yeah. Now I know that. So, that was a nice day. Had a lot of fun. Discovered what this uh, big round building on the island was so that was it for us today please rate comment subscribe and see you next time